Hello and welcome to tonight's webcast from Black Star HQ in Northampton, England. I'm Steve and we're here in our beautiful Tone Lounge. I've just returned from a very enjoyable tour of Australia and New Zealand for all things Black Star, but it's good to be back for July's webcast. This month we decided to do something a little different by asking you, the guitarist, what you'd like to see and hear about, and our HT venue range came out on top. These versatile amps have a wide variety of tones and they're the ultimate working musician's amplifier, if you like. There are key sonic elements from our Series 1 and Artisan ranges, from boutique cleans right to super high gains. Complementing the feature set is a dual level effects loop, a speaker emulated output and a digital reverb circuit. They're all under the hood. Now, for the head designers here at Blackstar, it's imperative to have a thorough understanding of what makes traditional guitar amps sound the way they do, especially if they were to improve on the performance of those classic designs from years past. And also, to offer players something new and exciting. Making Blackstar HT amplifiers the ultimate tools for a guitarist's self-expression is as important to us as the technical excellence on our products. These amps were sonically developed and voiced during literally hundreds of hours of critical listening tests. You have no reason to know this, but there are almost 30 guitar players of various styles that work here at Blackstar. And this is very important, we feel, to the success of our products. Each model in the HT range has its own sound and feel, and each amp was designed from the ground up. It's not just a template in a different box with a different wattage. The overdrive on a Studio 20 combo, for example, will act a little different than that of a Stage 100 head. The main aim of HT Venue Amps was to have the perfect balance of a product that's not, not going to cost you an arm and a leg, meeting the requirements of the modern guitarist out there, and having the flexibility without confusing the end user. HT stands for high tension, and this is another way of saying high voltage, basically. The HT range uses some up-amp circuits where there is a tonal or reliability advantage, for example some pre-distortion gain and some preamp filter circuits. There are preamp valves in here of course as well which are usually ECC82s or 83s and the output valves are normally EL34s giving us a classic British tone. The more recent HT metal range which has a bit more sting in the tail uses 6L6s. Our circuitry innovations add benefits to a traditional amplifier design. So let's have a listen and I'll run you through some really, really cool tones. So that current sound that I was using there is uh, one of the voices on the clean channel. So let me break this down for you. On the clean channel, it comprises of a volume and a tone and a voicing switch. That voicing switch is really, really important and it lets you switch between a warm clean, which is more of a full bodied sounding clean, lots of headroom, great platform for pedals. And then also bright clean, which is more of a boutique clean, which has got an earlier breakup, sounds a bit more gnarly. And having the choice of two cleans on there is really, really a great thing. Onto the overdrive channel, we have a volume and a gain, and again, we've got a voicing switch. Now the voicing switch will let you go between a classic crunch, if you like, to a super high gain with a slight mid-scoop to it. Now here we have our tone stack. So the clean has its own single tone control, so you find your sweet spot on there. But now on the overdrive, on the HT venue range we have bass, mids and trebles and then we have Blackstar's patent ISF which allows us to shape our tone stack from more of a, a tighter mid-scooped American sound to a more open push mid British style sound and the infinite shape feature is a really really cool part of Blackstar. We then have a master volume and a reverb control. Um, so 
In effect, we've got two cleans, two styles of overdrive or crunch, and on the reverb, we've got two choices of reverb on the reverse of the amp between dark and light. Dark being a uh, s slightly dimmer sounding, of course, and then bright being a more modern shimmering reverb, if you like. But the fact that you've got all that control within these products is a, a big deal. You know, it's a lot of bang for your buck. And this feature set will be on things like our, you know, Club 40, um, Stage 60, you know, all, all through the ranges, HT5, the small mini 5 watt amplifier and so on. Um, so from going from that bright clean sound, I'll play another little bit on that for you and then I'll go to a clean warm just so you can hear that dramatic difference. Um, of course I'm using my uh, Reflex Music Man, um, but if you see me switching here, it's between single coil and humbucker, so it's a series and parallel switch. So I'm going to give you a variety of tones if you like. So uh, let's see what we can come up with with a single call sound, bright clean, with a little bit of reverb. Quite a nice sound there, and that was just using single coils on this guitar. I was just backing off the volume a little bit back and forth, um, just to show you that difference in clarity and feel between more of a gnarly sound and more of a cleaner sound and clean bright. Um, I'm running the volume at full there, so you can really hear that, um, yeah, that classic boutique sound. <laughs> So to go from that to a clean warm, as soon as I add the voicing switch in and maybe just back off the volume a touch, we should get a rather nice, um, more full bodied clean sound. <laughs> Lots more headroom, lots more warmth, a great platform for pedals. Um, if you push it, of course, still on the actual volume of the channel, you're still going to get that more of a kind of aggressive clean tone, which can work for many styles, you know. <laughs> Thank you. 
If I go to a humbucker, we'll get even more growl. <laughs> So you can see there I'm getting a really wide tonal palette just from one channel, one volume, one tone and one voicing switch. Really, really unique. Um, across to our overdrive channel. Um, so at the moment I've got the voicing switch out with the gain fairly low. My EQ is you know, fairly standard and I've got my ISF over to more of the British tonal characteristic. So now we're looking at more of a 70s kind of classic rock sound, if you like. Great for blues, great for rock. So. Um, if we go to the humbucker, which we're on, this should give you a good idea of where I'm going with this. Really nice classic rock sound, great for blues as well, you know. If we take it to the next level by pushing the voicing switch in, giving it a little bit more sting in the in the gain stage, you should definitely notice more of a mid scoop uh, and a, a little bit more fizz, a little bit more satur saturation. So we'll try that now. So this is the Previous sound, voicing switch out. Quite a dramatic change there, but if you take into consideration the ISF, and now we can turn it more to that US mid scoop tighter sound, it really works well with the higher gain stage. So here we're ticking the boxes of the likes of a classic British 70s, 80s sound, and then a more modern high gain American style sound. So I'll do both in order. <laughs>
So you can see there we've got a lot going on for a two channel amplifier. I've created some real classic tones from that. In order to show you the difference with the reverb, what I like to do when I'm visiting stores and training is um, give, the, give the reverb level a bit of a push and um, just simply just snap at a muted guitar and you can really hear that change. Um, the dark, like I said, is more of a vintage style reverb. The light is more of a shimmering reverb. Now, the, the reverb circuit, as I previously mentioned at the beginning of this uh, uh, webcast, is um, it's a digital circuit, so it's a little bit more controllable. Uh, I don't know about you folks out there, but certainly for me over the years of trying many, many amplifiers and using many amps, um, if you have a spring reverb, you can tend to get it sounding really, really good for your cleans. But when you come to go, come to use your overdrive, it's usually not matching where you want to be, so you tend to back it off, and you can't really work with both that easily. Um, the digital circuit in here allows us to have more control, uh, and certainly it works well for both clean and overdrives. Um, so I'm just going to snap at the guitar, like I said, and we'll switch between the two. That's our dark. And our light. So again, a really, really nice feature. Something you may miss if you're trying it in a store, you know? Um, so that's our Club 50 head. Some other interesting features before I leave this actually is um, the, the emulated out on the back is a really, really great thing to be able to utilize. It allows us to take the head direct into a, a mixer, a sound card, a PA system, anything like that. And what we can do when we do that is if we put the amplifier into standby, the actual speaker that you're using, if it's a combo or a, a head on a cab, will be muted, but the emulated line out won't be. So that allows you to concentrate solely on getting a really, really good sound from the emulated line out. At the same time, if you maybe uh, live in a small apartment or you've got next door neighbors that don't like loud guitars, um, you could use it late at night. You could use a 50 watt valve head direct into your sound card or DAW without running a load of cabinet. So you can get all your high gain sounds, your valve sounds without uh, having the neighbors knock on the door, uh, which is something I do quite a lot. And also, I utilize both at the same time occasionally. Um, I've used a, a HT5, our small HT5 combo, for a small show, actually, a um, co couple of years ago. And um, it was just a last minute guitar dep. And uh, I did both. I took a cable from the emulated out and mic'd up the, com the combo as well, and took two signals and panned them a little left, a little right, and it really gave me such a huge spread of sound. It was amazing. And we were playing a, a corporate gig to 200 people or so. So to use a 5 watt amp for that is really, really great. Another cool feature is that if by any chance the amplifier's on, run in, and the lead gets pulled out, the amplifiers on the venue range automatically go into standby mode, safe mode so there's no sudden sounds or nasty noises or anything like that no uh, damage done to the to the amplifier so you don't get any any push pull sound um, if I put it back in again nice and silent but I've still got my guitar ready to go really really cool feature so the aim of the HD venue range is to make you guitarists out there feel inspired again lots of lots of tone at your fingertips if you like. Um, so I you know, encourage you to go into your local Black Star dealer and try them out. You know, there's combos, everything from really, really small to really, really big stage gear, something to suit every budget. Um, just at the end here we've got the HT Metal range, which is more of a recent addition to the Black Star family. Um, we've got some additions in the HT1 and HT5 area which are voiced a little differently than the original, so they've got a bit more sting in the tail, suitable for the metal player or the high gain guy. Um, but the larger stuff, we have a 60 watt 2x12, 
and 100 watt head. And it's just on a 4x12 here currently. The differences with the HT metal range on the largest products is that we use 6L6 for our power stage um, instead of EL34. 6L6 is a more inherently uh, an American type valve, if you like. There's more headroom there. Really, really good for cleans, and there's there's nothing constricting your sound so much. EL34s have a certain British rock sound to them, if you like. Um, so the cleans on here are stunning, and also the high gains are great. Um, but it's not just a metal amp. It can be used for blues, rock, anything like that if you back the gains off. And again, encourage you to try them. Really, really good. Let's run you through some tones on there. Really beautiful warm clean there, so that's the voicing switch in on the clean channel. On this particular 100 watt metal head we've got uh, a bass and a treble control as well as opposed to a, a single tone. But I'm really getting some great, great feel from that sound. So let's have a look at clean bright. Quite a dramatic change again, you know, two cleans, really useful. Let's look at the OD-1. Now if I back off that gain and maybe switch to a single coil, we're definitely not in the metal territory. Let me show you that.
So you can see where I'm going with this little demonstration here. It's, you know, the product's called a metal. It's a metal 100 head HT. But it's not always the case, you know. There's more than meets the eye, to, so to speak. Um, if we go over to a humbucker now, onto OD2, which has got a little more saturation, a little more fizz, more bite, and then we'll play something a little heavy to suit that sound. carried away with some rock there. Um, really cool. Again, very versatile. We've got our tone stack, the same as the rest of the HD venue range, ISF just for the overdrives, and uh, built-in reverb again with a reverb switch. Really, really cool product. Um, let's convert our attention to more of a smaller product, the HT1. Okay, so now I'm plugged into the uh, HT1, and uh, this, this this little baby packs a punch, I can tell you. Um, the focus of this product was to give you, the guitarist, a valve amplifier um, for use at home, really, uh, for recording, because the traditional sound of a valve amp is, is, is ultimately very different than a digital sound or a solid state sound. So as guitarists we tend to prefer having that valve feel and being a one watt you can get again many different tonal varieties out of this but you, you get that sound you get that feel under your fingers that push and pull um, <clears throat> typically most small amplifiers valve amps and low wattage valve amps use a single ended tube um, but through innovation and what the guys here did at Blackstar um, we came up with the dual triode tube, which is which is pushing and pulling and giving you a, more saturation, more of a sound of a of a high gain stack at lower wattage. So there's some really clever innovations going on inside this. Um, so I'm just going to run you through four really good points of reference for tone and sound. Um, one thing I'd always encourage with Black Star products is right from the get go when the guys began the company. The dream was to give, it, like we always say, you the guitarist, as many sounds as we could in one, one box. Um, and there's some points of reference that I'm going to refer to here. So we've got a nice kind of um, clean sound to start off with, um, but uh, my ISF is going to be more on the uh, more on the American side, and we've got the gain and volume here as well with a little touch of reverb. But we're looking at the the American kind of nice warmer clean sound. <laughs> If we push the gain stage and maybe take the ISF over to more of the, the British side of things, we can start to get that boutique 60s British kind of sound. <laughs> Thank you. 
And that's just the clean side of things. So you can see we can go from real nice cleans to slightly more pushing boutique cleans. If we back the gain off now, stick on that British side on the ISF, and we can turn the overdrive button on. We're kind of starting off where we left off with that more boutique clean, so we've got a bit more, a bit more distortion now, saturation. Over to single coil. If we push that gain stage, we're kind of somewhere in the realms of uh, a slightly more modern British high gain sound, if you like. Then we can take the ISF over to the US side and get that modern American high gain sound. So a very versatile product, and to get that valve sound at home, perfect for recording. You can even plug this 1 watt HT1 into a 4x12 and it sounds killer. So the venue range is your working musician's amplifier. We've got everything from small to large to suit any budget, and there's lots of inspiration there. You know, lots of colours to paint your own picture if you like. So make sure you get into stores and check out our HT venue range. Thank you very much for watching this evening. Uh, as always, you can contact us at inquiries at blackstaramps.com. I've been Steve Marks, and I'll see you out on the road, hopefully. And uh, follow us on all our, all, all our social media avenues, Instagram, Facebook. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. And keep rocking and rolling. Thank you very much for watching. See you soon.